Good day. Today is April the 2nd. 15 years ago, Pope John Paul II died. 15 years ago. But now we say Saint John Paul II. So we can pray to him asking his help during this really tough time. I miss seeing you. I miss sharing and telling stories and laughing. I certainly miss praying with all of you at Mass. But right now, this time, we cannot celebrate Mass with the community. It's impossible. We have to follow the rules and the requirements of the state of Illinois. They're good rules. They're important requirements for us. I know for many of you, it's really frustrating. One person called me recently and said he was tired of having to go to bed because he said, what am I going to do? We want to be with each other. We want to see each other. Not yet. We have to obey everything that the government is telling us to do. Those things, those instructions, they are important. Wash your hands with soap and hot water. Keep your distance. Get rest, yes. Drink enough water. If you feel sick, go to bed. If you feel very sick, call your doctor. Why? Because right now hospitals want the doctor to call them and say, my patient will come at this time. If you show up at an ER, maybe you will have to wait and wait and wait. Better to contact your doctor first. Recently in our community, good friends of ours, wonderful people have died. Barbara Kiner, Deacon Ralph Hinch, Daniel O'Donnell, the father of Sheila O'Donnell. And then yesterday I learned Mary Perman died. Mary Perman. Many of you remember her husband, Leo. Mary had been sick and finally yesterday died. No funeral mass. Why? Because we cannot have people coming into church. Later on this year, for our friends who have died, we will have a mass We'll have a celebration time to get together, to see one another, to talk with their families. But for right now, we can't. Even if they hold awake, it's limited to 10 people. That means you go to the funeral home, family only. Can't have people coming in, hi, I knew that person. Can't. We have to follow the rules. If you become sick, very sick, and you need a priest to come to anoint you, please contact me. If there is a funeral in the family and you want me to come to go to the funeral home, to drive to the cemetery for a blessing, contact me. My voice number, my text number, it's the same, 312-685-7899. Every day I celebrate Mass. It's strange because I celebrate Mass alone. Nobody to answer the prayers, nobody to read, just me. But every day I pray for all of you, I pray for your families. I pray especially for those who are already sick. 
So please, please, let us pray for one another. Lastly, next week is Holy Week. There will be masses in sign language, in ASL, and on our website, we will print, we'll publicize where you can look for masses that are signed. We have a blessing in this country. We have a number of, of priests who are deaf who will be signing those masses for Holy Week. So again, look on our website and you'll see the list. And now, let us pray for one another. Our Father, who art in heaven, hallowed be thy name. Thy kingdom come, thy will be done on earth as it is in heaven. Give us this day our daily bread, and forgive us our trespasses, as we forgive those who trespass against us. And lead us not into temptation, but deliver us from evil. Amen. In the name of the Father, and of the Son, and of the Holy Spirit. Amen.